My name's Paul and here is part one of what will probably be a three-part series uh, on a uh, tube or valve octave pedal that uh, I intend to build. Uh, the circuit's my own sort of design I guess. Uh, it'll use 112AX7 and a couple of diodes to, uh, to actually rectify the uh, the signal uh, to achieve the octave uh, effect so it's an octave up uh, pedal um, and hopefully it's kind of boutique and and uh, kind of old school is what I'm going for anyway I've got a few parts together and uh, we'll go through those now I've got the enclosure inside the enclosure I've got the bag of goodies that comes with the enclosure to hold the lid on and seal it up. Um, I've got a piece of angle line, old angle line that I found, it's aluminium, uh, and I will uh, cut that down and uh, and cut a, a slot out of it or a, a hole out of it to mount the uh, tube socket in. And uh, I've got a shielded tube socket here uh, with a porcelain porcelain base or porcelain socket. Uh, what else have we got? We've got lots of things. We've got a transformer. Uh, this one's 240 volt on the primary and 24 volt on the secondary. And what I will do is actually put 16 volts AC onto the secondary side and get a couple of hundred volts out on the primary side. We're going to use it back to front, same as I have uh, with the other couple of um, preamps and things that I've built using using 12AX7s. Okay, um, I've got the plug pack here or wall wart. Uh, it's 16 volts AC, one and a half amps, and I will use that to supply power to the whole thing. Um, we've got the 12AX7 itself which is a electroharmonics 12AX7EH. Um, we've got that uh, 100 microfarad 400 volt cap. Uh, this capacitor will be used to uh, filter the, the high voltage that comes out of this transformer, the 200 volts or so, and it'll be rectified using this uh, this little uh, bridge rectifier. Um, we've got a couple of 1M pots. These are audio taper and they will be for the controls. And we have a couple of knobs. I prefer the big ones with these old school boutique -y things. Um, you know, it kind of suits the size of the box. Uh, we've got a foot switch, triple pole, double throw uh, for true bypass and also to turn the effect on off, LED on and off. A couple of 400 volt uh, one end series diodes. I'm hoping that the 0.6 of a volt uh, threshold that these things need to switch on isn't too much. Uh, as I'll be using these to rectify the signal uh, to actually turn it into an octave type uh, sound. A couple of LEDs, green one for power on so we know that the thing has actually got power running through it and the red one for the effect on or off. A regulator, it, this is a 7812 and um, I'll be using this to to regulate uh, the 16 volts that comes out of the, the plug pack to run the heaters and um, I'll actually run a run a diode off uh, 
off the pin that uh, goes to uh, the negative rail uh, to bump bump the voltage up another 0.6 of a volt so it'll end up being 12.6 which is exactly what the heaters need in the 12AX7 when you run them in series because as you know 12AX7 is a twin triode so it's got two two triodes in it which means you've got two heaters and they're both 6.3 volt and you can run them in series so that'll be 12.6 volt and we've got some tag strips so I can point to point wire the whole thing and that's pretty much it so next I'll show you a quick rundown of the circuit itself now this circuit may change, uh, probably will change. Uh, I just thought the circuit up one afternoon during a lunch break at work and uh, basically have not experimented with it at all. Anyway, you don't want to hear me talk anymore so we'll draw it up. So we're going to about 160 volts on the HT rail. And this is ground, of course, down here. Input. Now these values are just estimates only. I will rough them in, work them out as I go along with the circuit and I tend to build these things more intuitively than than actually mathematically so. So from there that pretty much looks similar to the front end of most old tube amps or an old Marshall anyway. They're pretty close to that. Give or take a little bit. Now this potential divider I have here may change. Actually I might put a capacitor in there just to isolate the DC there um, or decouple the DC Now this is where the circuit gets a bit funny and I'm not sure whether this bit's going to work or not. Um, these values here I'm not sure about yet. And this one will probably be around the 100k mark. This one here I'm not real sure about. I don't think it'll be as high as 100k, it may be 10k or something. And um, we might run a couple of capacitors. Just run that to ground. And that'll be our output. Um, I may at the end of the day actually make this one a um, you know I might end up doing something like that I don't know just to so I've got a gain control but that's pretty much it 
and this is the, this is the octave part of the circuit here. Basically, all this this does is amplify. This more or less just splits the circuit up for me, so I can um, and acts as a buffer, so that I can actually. rectify the signal and then the rectified signal just goes through this pot which is our you know volume control um, and out it goes so thanks for watching anyway and if you uh, want to subscribe or anything fire away if you're keen to, to see if I can actually make this thing work <laughs> and uh, have a good day give me a thumbs up or something I'll catch you later